opportunity to walk on our trails, whether it's Buchanan Park Trail, the Pioneer Trail, the Evergreen Lake Loop Trail, almost everyone in this room. Well, the, the projects in which we are sharing with you today have improvements to all of those amenities that we are proud as Evergreen Park and Rec District to be taking care of, providing to our constituents, providing to our neighbors, mostly providing what we were intended to do, which was called park and recreational services. 
I know we're amazing. Sometimes we do much more outside of our scope because somehow everybody thinks we are a city government and that I do sh shovel and change light bulbs on street lights and all of that and change water meters. They think we do it all, which we do help in a very cooperative way. So I thank you for being here today, but just to give you, oh, I do have a clicker. Sorry, my clicker's working, right? All right, just to kind of review what's going to happen today from the staff level. So we're going to kind of talk to you about what is the CTF. It's also another acronym for Citizens Task Force. Um, we are seeking to engage the community in evaluating whether the district, as I started off, should place a bond measure and mill levy measure on the November 2018. Once again, that has not been determined. We are in process of that. You'll learn more about that. Um, we're going to be reviewing some of the numbers as I was asked. Why? Why do we need this? Um, you know, the, the big questions I've been facing is what's, what's the concerns? What's the issues? And then the next question is who cares? Or who is caring about those issues? And then lastly, which I'm a taxpayer just like you, who's going to pay for it? And that becomes the biggest question, and how would we do that? So please know that those conversations have been happening extensively. Um, capital improvements that are being proposed. This isn't something that Ellen wakes up and the staff wakes up and we say, oh, we'd love to get a new gym here and we need it by next year, because we want all these great things. This has been an ongoing study. We in our budget staff, and ultimately our board of directors, align certain capital improvements to happen annually, which we have to do. So our O&M costs, our operations to keep lights on, the water in the pool, our trails maintained, the snow, all of those things, we have then a, whatever after O&M, we have uh, on our balance sheet capital improvement projects. And I've been part of that for nine years. And we have done a great job. For example, in this room when I started, it was all carpet. There was no mirrors. It was really kind of a shabby place. It wasn't being used. Well, today, if you come into this room, you're going to see fitness starting as early as 7, and it goes all the way through the evenings with Misfit, um, programs, dance, all of those. We have changed out many of our spaces for the ultimate use of what is needed. More importantly, what us, the constitu constituents are wanting. So we take into careful consideration. But we've reached a time at EPRD, because our capital improvement annually is about a million dollars. We've reached a point that due to some individual project sections, such as the Evergreen Lake North Trail, remember that was closed for a year and a half? I'm sure I spoke to every one of you maybe in this room about that. Um, and then the overall size of the capital improvement, because you have to make decision what goes first, and generally safety goes to the top, and then of course the overall size of what that capital budget may be, and then the allocation of budget. So it might pertain to different areas. For an example, we might get a new sailboat down at the lake house because the old one is really needs to be replaced. We might have to replace all the spin bikes. So those are those types of items that we look at every year annually. And we also have many maintenance things. Replacing HVACs, those things aren't cheap. Um, they're about a half a million dollars. So if I just look at two things that you're going to be seeing today, such as the elevator at Wolf Rec Center, half a million dollars, and the locker rooms, if we go to do that next year, that's the only things we can do. So we are making sure we're taking care of um, our capital improvement projects. But we've been engaging the community over several years in the studies and the surveys. So this isn't like we just have um, come around to do this. Please know that we decided, based on board direction, to, to go through a process, and that process was to get a citizens task force together to look at some of our highest capital project improvements and needs um, to help us decide if, the, if the, we feel the community will support that. Um, we had 38 members of the task force. Uh, you might have received a letter. We had well over probably 85 folks because we were trying to get as many of those that could commit to this process. Um, and we were very thankful that we were able to do, get 38 people. They included business leaders, HOAs, um, sorry, 
people that used our facilities, and actually some of the naysayers in the, in the room that I knew would not be in support of these. It's important to make sure you have the diversified um, representation across the district. So the CTF has met three times. They were only supposed to meet two times. They're so passionate, they put me to work, back to work, and we had to have another third meeting to discuss the pool situation. So that's kind of what's happened. And lastly, at the end, we'll get to kind of the next steps, which is going to involve this group. So I'm going to turn it over to Brian now. He's going to give a quick introduction to our Parks and Rec, and then also share some of the facts. Facts are always important. Um, if we don't have an answer for you today or you don't feel comfortable asking a question in front of the group, we have allowed, there's no cards there, please write your question down. Our intent is to get answers to your questions. And if we don't have an answer, we're going to try to, I'm going to try my darnest to get you an answer. And we'll continue to add to our Q&A sheet that we have back there as well for you. So once again, Brian Tucker with our rec the recreation manager. Great question? Yep. My fault, I'm sure. Uh, the CTA, how did you engage or let people know that? So we reached out to every HOA that we could. And I was on the board of Taiwan. Taiwan like, HOA? Yeah. So here's just real quick. Yeah. Um, we reached out based on who the presidents were listed as the county assessor, because I didn't know. I asked staff, I asked board members, I was. And again, it's my I didn't. I didn't, this is something I've been thinking about. But is there someone on there? Um, I think there is someone from your... Oh, that was, again, I was trying to okay. okay. Yeah, so we did try to go to the president. Then some said, I'm not available for these dates, but here's another person. So we did try extensively to get, um, but we tried to get representation all across. Was it advertised? 